these images, along with Gedney's entire archive, is housed here at Duke University in the Archive of Documentary Arts at the David Rubenstein Rare Book and Manuscript Library. You'll see the Gedney photos shown in projections devised by Jim Finley throughout the show. And it's Gedney's durable and humane photographic vision that guided M.C. Taylor. Sometimes that vision was cooing and sometimes it was cajoling as he wrote this clutch of new songs you're about to hear. engaged with the archive. A lot of stuff that we ended up really engaging with is contact sheet material and stuff that was never printed, or at least not printed, you know, in large format. I, I come at it from a very specific point of view, which is uh, an, an artist who's a visual artist who's usually making moving imagery. But the really, the real germ of it was me sitting and listening to the demos that were kind of coming across the transom over the last three, four months and like just sitting and watching the pictures and clicking through them. Sort of like trying to find what pictures work, but then just the act of clicking through them sort of started to be the pleasurable thing. <laughs> Why this particular family, the Cornettes? I think in large part because of the physical connectedness of the family members, which was always affectionate. Sometimes it's ungainly and awkward, but invariably it's, it's, it's graceful. And it's this kind of virtual ballet of arms and cars and cigarettes. Because the moments that Gedney recorded are really small moments, actually not extraordinary, not shocking. Um, what these pictures are, are a straightforward and sympathetic view of what we all recognize easily as moments in the real world. I ended up taking all of the Gedney material down off the walls in the room that I was writing in and just writing music that sort of resonated with, with, what, um, with what I was experiencing as a person and dad and artist and um, traveling around and trying to, trying to perform my art in a way that felt genuine and real and energized and engaged. And I think the cosmic thing of it all is that in the end, when I wrote this set of songs and checked back in with the Gedney photographs at the end, all of those emotions that I knew in my own head and heart were in these photographs as well, um, regardless of the sort of temporal distance between myself and the Cornette family. Um, and just the circumstantial differences between our lives. That photos, in a way, have just become this really beautiful sounding board and, and mirror for me to go back to and say, yep, I know that one too. I know that set of emotions too. I know that feeling that I'm getting there. I mean, it became completely subjective. Yesterday, there was a moment of complete relief of like, it works in here in three dimensions with the band on the on structure doing these, you know, like it, it works, you know, and there was you know, you know moments from three months ago of like, well, we're gonna try this, we'll see. 
so I, I, I can't really think of it as like it's not like there was like the perfect version in my head before I got here. There was the, a hope. <laughs> there was just a hope, and some of that hope is you know feels pretty good right now. that for this particular piece I wanted it to feel more uh, more improvisational like not having to stick to anything on a screen because I wouldn't I could never do that and I would mess it up yeah. <laughs> but what I know for certain is that this work is durable that the photographs transcend the specific moment in which they were made because they record human qualities that exist outside of time and in all of us. These images are not only works of art, they're acts of affection. In the end, the work is satisfying because the work shows us what is emotionally undeniable, something we all know that it is about all of us and we know it to be true. Yes, we make morning. Yeah, lying in bed with nothing to say. We'll pretend all we want to Yeah, and tomorrow I'll be on my way Yeah, sing me a river Sing me a river Yeah, I'll be patient with me when I don't have a rhyme Will you grieve me, honey? Grieve me, honey Did I give you a reason to try? Yes, I'd like a Standing in the way with the sky still changing, what's it gonna take? Yeah, to keep me from missing, there's a rainbow in the way, yeah, with a heart of obsidian standing in the way. Yes, I've seen the Sing me a river, sing me a river. I'm a peach tree jumper with rain in my shoe. If you let me, honey, let me, I'll set the world on fire for you. Yes, yeah, sing me a summer, sing me a summer. Yeah, if that Cincinnati moon, like a wheel in the sky, shouts to roads, honey. Tell me which one leads to mine Yes, sing little sister Sing little sister Oh, be patient with me I don't have a mind Will you greet me, honey? Did I give you a reason to try? Yes, yeah, standing in the way Where the skies can change
produced by Duke University, online at duke.edu.